Yes, well, I want children one day. To help my chances, I went through the process of freezing my eggs twice. It is a long, exhausting, emotional experience, and I've learned more and more women are doing the same. Last February, I decided to freeze my eggs. Okay, we just did the first part. Of I've been documenting my journey and sharing it so that other women know they're not alone. And we're not. A record number of women are choosing to face their fertility by freezing their eggs. I think the reason it's skyrocketed is because women know this is an opportunity. Um, and it's something they can do. It's, uh, it works. In 2021, nearly 25,000 egg freezing procedures were done in the United States. That's up more than 31% from the year before. Egg freezing can come at a cost, anywhere from five to $10,000 a cycle. Despite that, more women are choosing to make the investment and more employers and insurance companies are offering coverage for fertility treatments. Be proactive. But wait. Dr. Brian Kaplan is my reproductive endocrinologist. When you can freeze an egg, you freeze time. Allows you to get pregnant at a much higher rate if you freeze when you're younger. Less miscarriages, healthier babies. You need more eggs frozen, ideally, the older you are, because there's going to be a higher attrition. And between 29 and 39, that drop off is dramatic. Here I am in my late 30s. I wish I froze my eggs sooner, but mostly cloudy skies. So I landed my dream job and focused on my career. Dr. Kaplan assures me I still have time. Is this right? So I start the process. It involves about two weeks of hormone shots that are taken every night to stimulate the follicles in my ovaries. In the natural cycle, you only develop one follicle on your ovary with potentially one egg. What we need to do is to get as many of those follicles, as many eggs as we can. And that's our goal. So I mixed those shots and injected them every day at home between nightly newscasts. Can you squeeze a tight fist for me? Then there were appointments for blood work and ultrasounds to monitor my progress. There is the left ovary and you, these are the life circles here that you see in the left ovary. Those are the follicles in the left ovary. After two long, uncomfortable weeks. All right, tonight is the night we have finally made it through this entire process. I've made it to the trigger shot night. I am so excited, my retrieval day. I take my final trigger shot to prep my body to release the eggs at just the right time. This is the ovary. Mm -hmm. These are the follicles. 36 hours later, I'm ready for egg retrieval. Egg one in that very last two. It's a short surgery performed under sedation. I don't remember a thing, but Dr. Kaplan says it was a success. All the good sized ones we found eggs in, which was good. My eggs are off to the lab for evaluation and then frozen in time. <laughs> and while it was a tough process to go through, I feel proud and empowered that I made this choice to freeze my eggs. There is no guarantee that this will result in a future baby, but it does increase my chances of having children if my fertility is affected in the future. Well, Cheryl, thank you for sharing your story. It's so inspiring and courageous of you, and you're going to help a lot of people who are thinking about this journey mm -hmm. and they want to participate as well. Yeah, there's such a big community of women out there that I'm learning mm -hmm. going through this and yeah. just opening the doors of communication so women know that they have options. How's it feel to help them know that they have these choices now? Uh, we have been uh, messaging on social media. You can mm -hmm. find me there. It's really empowering, and we're going to continue to build upon this, facing fertility, and talk to so many other women and dive deeper and tell those stories so yeah. we can keep that communication going. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.